Hey, hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan where we are beating the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It is time for another retaliation mission, this time in the eastern uh, US. Operation Witch Wheel, the seventh retaliation mission in this run. And we're going to level at Galleon Poe again. Uh, this time he's going to be... Um, Accompanied by Renman, because um, Dragonova, his normal companion, is not with him. Let's talk a little bit about the combination of Sniper plus, uh, plus an Assault. We have seen that in one of the missions earlier, and I really like the combination. It's a strong one. Oh, look at that. Spider and Fly. There is a risk of ambush on all Covered Ops missions. Um, so some easy extra missions for us it's actually not a bad um, permanent dark uh, not a bad dark event um, so back to the combination of assault plus sniper we've seen that earlier and i really like the combination um, when discussing the run in the forums uh, even some of the users suggested to go with that very combination from the get-go um, because it has a lot of uh, damage output both the assault and the sniper are probably uh, from an end game perspective the highest DPS classes um, and the assault has the beautiful advantage of being a so to speak scout at the same time um, effectively uh, scouting the terrain for the uh, for the uh, squad side so that's an advantage and it worked well uh, the last time that we have played uh, this time um, the last time I think when we played it uh, was a, a normal, uh, normal uh, mission. But this time uh, we are uh, definitely on a retaliation mission, and retaliation missions just as an FYI uh, for it as as well. Uh, retaliation missions, in my opinion, are super competitive from a timer perspective. The way that the timer works is. Whenever you are not dealing with the aliens, they will kill one of uh, the uh, civilians. And whenever you have um, uncovered at least one of the aliens, every single alien will prioritize, regularly speaking, prioritize the civilians. So in both cases, you are pretty screwed. Um, let us conceal ourselves and move in. We've seen the first group of advents here. I'll take the high road. This might or might not trigger them even. Interestingly enough, there are berserks right behind them. We definitely need to focus on the priest first. You can see there is a berserk like right there. I guess what I would want to do is since so a couple of things are going to happen he's going to shield um, the priest is most likely simply going to use his mind control or his uh, stasis ability in which case we need to deal with him right now so we're lightning hands uh, shooting at him nice little bit of damage there and if we're now playing our cards right, this here should be this here should be the right move because all of the berserks will trigger um, our uh, kill zone as well. We need to deal, nonetheless, uh, with the priest, and one way of doing it is. We're going ham. Going in for the kill. Although we're not having any okay, cover okay. here, I still think with the option for Bladestorm, we're going to be all right. This here will probably trigger the de uh, the kill zone. Yep, there we go. And we're going to take additional shots next round if they still are within the kill zone. Okay, that's 18 points of damage, really solid. 
they have tactical um, analysis, so both of them will only have one turn. We can now conveniently take a shot here, and either we're directly killing it or it's gonna die next uh, next turn. So it's now poisoned. Poison puts it into sustenance. And there is the blade storm kill, bringing us untouchable. Nice extra damage. It's burning now. Yeah, that's. He's going to use his shield, but that's fine. We can deal with it. <laughs> Interestingly enough, half of the house started burning because that Galleon Poe just repeatedly hit it with his guns. I, look at that shit. This here is uh, what happens when you're uh, shooting with kill zone. The entire house is gone. Moving up, probably pulling yet another group. So we're looking at a 95% chance of hitting him. I think we're going to go for it. I really want to get rid of the shields. One hit, come on. And that's the kill. Untouchable plus implacable. I'm in intrigued hitting the um, priest here. This priest will die due to poison. The Berserk is burning, so it'll take two to three points of damage around, so it might even die. If not, it's going to move up and we will Blade Storm kill it. We could, might as well just move back and just stay right next to it and 100% Blade Storm kill it. Um, What I am a bit concerned about, though, is uh, the ability to use stasis from the uh, from the other priest. It's the second priest. God damn it! I hate them. So might as well just take the shot, soften him up, or in this case, not hit at all. I guess that'll be okay. And move back. I'm not sure why exactly the poison did not kill him. It's dead. It has to be dead. Yeah, there's the stasis I was afraid about. Oh, come on. Yeah. Alright. Got a mind control. And a stasis. Great.
Did I mention how much I like the priests? He should have been dead because he was poisoned. I have no idea how he even managed to survive. That all you got? <sighs> okay. That's bad. Okay. We need to reload. Reaper up. Reload. Gonna hit the priest. Check it before you get too close. We are retaking our high ground position. 100% chance of hitting him. So, if we were to take our chances, I think we're better off killing uh, the trooper first. There we go. We need to reload anyways very soon. This here is hopefully not triggering another pack. I got it, right? Good, we're still on with Reaper. Yeah, too far away, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably should have positioned myself rather here. Because then anyway, we would have flanked. Pretty much a 50-50. Yeah, we should we, we probably can take that. The other option is really moving to here, taking a slash. Problem with that is we are um, ending in open terrain. On the other hand, he's going to use rockets anyways. So if we were to move in, we at least get another blade. Storm, uh, Blade Master uh, Strike. And this here could light him on fire. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. So, six to eight. Or alternatively, this actually wouldn't be too bad. A plus, we, we could poison him, which means he would probably go down. 70% chance to do that, which is good. Let's, let's try that. Come on. Nice little extra shot. Untouchable baby. Um, Believable and untouchable. And unfriendly to aliens from time to time. Moving up. Getting that nice little high ground. 
and saying hello to Mr. Shotgun. Nice little shredder damage. Come on, crit him. Oh, really? Kill him. Target neutralized. And let's also reload. Okay. Two berserks. Two um uh, two advent in the first pack. Priest plus uh, shield bearer. Two advent at and uh, make in the next pack that's three plus two plus two so we're looking at seven six more to come Probably guess we are just overwatching and reloading. Kind of a slow turn. Still seeing movement of the sector pods somewhere. Oh, that's bad news. This year is definitely going to be our main target. If chrysalids start to break free, we're in a Hell of a problem. Deploying grapple. Taking a nice little high ground position here. And we only have one. Okay. We only have one uh, target. Well, that's not enough. We could go for a kill zone. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Well, let's go for the kill zone here, real quick. Um, that'll be two shots. Okay. Additionally, we might as well just take a normal signal shot here. They still, we we still have the option for blade storm. So that shot should almost kill it. We should be fine. Blade Storm and the um, kill zone will hit it. There's one gone. Very shortly AFK.
All right, sorry for that. Oh my gosh, I just clicked out of accident. Ah. Okay, let me reconcile what happened because I did not look at the screen. Apparently, either Bladestorm or uh, or the Short Mist, since it does no longer have armor, I would say the Short was a hit, Bladestorm again was a miss. That's unfortunate because we're now taking damage from the Poison. Not the best turn I've ever made. Hair trigger free action. Okay, I'll go. Moving in. Advent troops spotted. And there's the final pack. Okay, we are looking at one, uh, that's just one hit, hmm. So we could move to here, allowing us, that's actually not a bad idea, moving to here. Allowing us to take uh, rapid fire to completely strip the uh, sector pod. We would still be in range of the stun lancer, which stinks a little bit. We could also move to here, which would be probably out of range of the stun lancer, or here. We could even move up to here, which would deny the Stun Lancer the option to land, and instead we can only take a shot, which is probably better because the Lancing could effectively mean uh, that the Stun Lancer will knock us unconscious, we don't want that to happen, so instead we are blocking it by moving up here, or alternatively by moving up here, which is probably even the better choice. This guy here, um, so the uh, shield bearer will shield. Sun Lancer is the only one who could take a shot even. Plus, of course, the sector pod. The only reason why I'm afraid about being up here is this here might as well be um, a faceless one. Advantage of being here is the sector pod wouldn't get high ground against us because we're even higher than it is. So its aim would suck. I think we're going to do that. What's over there? Bit of an unconventional method, I suppose. All right, rapid fire. Let's go. Read it. And fully shredded. Unfortunately, not a crit. But it's okay. I mean, we already got the hair trigger. Now that it does not have any armor anymore, might as well hit it. It'll die next turn. <laughs> it was using lightning field, but it couldn't reach us. We were close to it, but it couldn't reach us. Nice. There's the shield I was talking about. Alright. 
right so bear with me for one second Has there been any one who's been injured? Probably not. We know Sanansa's here. We know that the um, that the shield bearer is here. Fortunately, we're running short on actions. If we were to reload If we were to reload we could kill him with a uh, with a chain shot attack which would allow us to place ourselves here I suppose so, might as well do that. I would have preferred to kill the shield bearer instead. Okay, I was not expecting, to be honest, that we would be falling down. Came a bit out of the blue. Pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Well, We do not have any cover here. We could grapple over, but that'll take time. I think going for full cover here is not the worst idea. Yeah. Let's start with the stun launcher. Hard target, minimal damage. So one way of uh, dealing with the rest is to effectively move in and hope that we would kill the Stunlance. I don't think that that's going to be realistic. Instead, let's move to here. Chrysalid okay. Poison is still ticking. Yeah, that will be Bladestorm. Or not? Well, that sucks. With him being unconscious, this is just becoming a little bit more iffy. So, 8 to 10, okay. I mean, to be honest. We really need a kill. All of these are open uh, field, so that'll be a 80% chance of actually killing him. Done. Reaper implaceable. Still moving in. And this here might be as well a kill. Nice little Hunter's Instinct. 
Crystal and Poison is taking its toll. Don't you dare burning us. Ah, yeah. That was untouchable. Just forgot about it. We do not have an option to reload and take a move. That'll happen next turn. Just need to make sure that we're not being hit. Who's gonna make it? Let's hope the poison is going to kill it. It's not. Right, close one, close one. Let's go, buddy. Crystal poison stops at some point, but clearly not yet. Running and gunning. All right, moving in. There are still faceless ones, so this is not over. Implaceable. Let's move up here. Late master. Uh. Not good. Okay. So this here is a solid chance of actually killing him, triggering death from above. Nope. No death from above, which is a, a, sh a pity. We're not going to stand up here, because that would mean we are likely to die, because he will take a slash, this will break down, and we're taking falling damage. Instead, we're untouchable, this guy is going to come to us. We're going to Bladestorm and kill him next turn and end the mission at the skin of our teeth. Alright, untouchable. We do have a problem. No, we don't. Reload. Chain shot. Kill. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Confirmed. Mission accomplished. That is way closer than I would have anticipated. Oh my gosh. And it all started with the chrysalids. Such bad play. I shouldn't make uh, decisions when I'm under no time pressure. And you only take the suboptimal decision. Their work must continue. We will not rest until the wild lands beyond our borders are tamed. Until our world and our people are safe. Yeah. 20 days gravely wounded. Great.
Oh shit, we got another negative trade. Well, that sucks. Renman, not only is he gravely wounded for 20 days, I get it. Like, it was a nail biter. But he also has fear of the chosen, which means we need to remove that after he's coming back. Well, at least we won the mission, right? So, here we go. Nice little extra income. Let's get supplies. And look at that, 544. Finally, uh, things are playing out in the right direction. Okay, lost one my cure in any mission. I don't mind that, it's actually positive for us. Uh, we don't want poisonous rounds, and whatever the hidden event is might be bad as well. I am pretty happy with the resistance orders. And let's continue this here. Strategic resource located. Okay. Eighty supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Getting the five hundred supplies, and I think we're good. Wait a second. So, Dragonova finally has her negative traits removed. That is good, because it means we can go for the next mission once Edgalian Po is recovered. That's in four days. Uh, coincidentally, uh, just when Hogbite is going to return. So for now, we're going to keep it low. And let's see if we have all of the upgrades. So short of squad side upgrades, which we don't need, we have all of the upgrades. Proving ground wise, um, we're still at experimental ammunition once that's done. I think I want to get one war suit. Um, yeah, we have enough Alarium and Alloys, so I would want to get one war suit. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And Hello, as for Commander. engineering, I mean, we could go theoretically for the fusion blade. We could theoretically go for the fusion blade, but we do not really have another ranger yeah i guess that would be wasted money at this point defense matrix is upgraded proving grounds cannot be upgraded resistance ring can be upgraded yeah for 125 sure why not so that'll give us another resistance order Power relay here could be upgraded, but do we really have power problems? No, not at all. Infirmary. You know what? We can get the hyper vital module um, just in case I really need to put someone into combat for once. Resistance communication, we're actually okay. We don't need to upgrade power relay here. I mean we could. But it's okay. For now having a bit of spare money never hurts. So we're going to go for uh, the facility as soon as it as it is available. Since it's a new month, let's check for the black market. So, selling. Oh yeah, Archon Corpses. Great, no problem.
easy. There's an expanded magazine, which I think we could use for Dragon Orba, the superior expanded magazine. We wanted to do that anyways. Um, so let's get it. The superior speed is nice, but we're somewhat short on Intel. I wouldn't overdo it. Good enough. Yeah, let's do it once uh, we're preparing for the mission. I think we can stack the heal faster. We already have heal faster. Let's see if I that would do anything. Pretty sure it doesn't. Hmm, maybe it does. Look at that, it's only 12 days and we certainly haven't... We certainly haven't done... Uh, eight days so far. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. So We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move. That fast. was one day. Pretty much exactly one day. Um, and it reduced by two. So yeah, it stacks, which is good. I like it. Well, invest the time then. You have got many new faces to serve among your resistors. But when they needed you most, you failed to protect them. The Chosen are going to do whatever it takes to get to you. Okay, so Avatar pro uh, Project reduced by two. And we got seven dodge on. Hogbite. Let's see what uh, we have as potential options. So, will plus four, will plus three, and yeah, we don't need weapon research anymore. I like the bond threshold because we're still missing that. It's only eight days as well. Mobility plus one is not bad. Lots of hacking, oh my gosh, like how can I pass on that? Reduce avatar proje uh, project and nine dodge, seriously. Eight, and this here, plus one health and ability points. It almost feels as if the game would want us to take that. Yeah, I guess I gotta do it. Supplies, there's a high chance of an ambush, okay ambush so i guess not a problem for us hogbite uh, doesn't need equipment anyways and hogbite is being accompanied by mitch mitchell the man with a plan as they called him Yeah, sounds about right. Another nine dodge. We're getting there. Understood, Commander. My followers will We're getting there. Hogbite is going to be monsterious with like hundred dodge. He's going to tank the shit up. This will prove to be an important nice little uh, autopsy. Did we get a breakthrough? I have come to suspect that this creature's future combat is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. Reduce the GTS cost by 20%. Yeah. I guess thanks, but no thanks. We already have that. Okay, which means let's continue with no uh, Trooper Autopsy. The autopsies might trigger another breakthrough.
Okay, one second. I think we're ready, by the way, and I've almost forgotten about it. Uh, Dragonova and uh, Edgar Alien are both ready. By the way, Roby and Hogbite definitely could do the next mission together and get their bond level on ma uh, maximum level, which I think we should do before even uh, going for the the Warlock. So it's probably the next mission that they're taking. And now it's time to fight the Alien Queen. The Berserker Alien Queen, to be precise. It is time to go here. An extremely powerful and dangerous uh, alien is guarding this area. Well, I would say bring it on then. We can now employ an experimental technique. So I'll do that behind the scenes and come up with the right combination. It's going to be uh, Outrider and Edgallian Poe. But let's see how exactly I'm going to do it. Um, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure as always. And see you the next time when it's uh, time for a two-man uh, legendary Iron Man run. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. And yeah, see you later. Bye-bye.